Hi everybody and thanks for joining me. In this video we're going to talk about a couple of add-ons for Google Docs and Google Sheets that help improve workflows when it comes to getting approval on certain documents. Sometimes you may have a document that needs to be approved by a supervisor or a principal or a superintendent before you can turn it in. And so that's where these add-ons for workflows come in very handy. Now we're going to look at two today. One of them is called Workflows and the other one is an add-on called Collivate. Now the first one, Workflows, like I said, is an add-on for Docs or Sheets. All you have to do to get this add-on is go to the Add-ons menu and click Get Add-ons. It's available in the Google Web Store for add-ons for Docs and Sheets and you just look for Workflows. And of course here it is and you'll just need to click the free button to add it to your Google Docs. And then once it's added it'll be available here and you can just go to the menu and click Start Workflow. But I've already started it and you can see here it shows up as a menu on the right hand side of your document. And once you've filled out your document, and I'm going to add some information to this so you can kind of see how it works. Let me do that really quickly. And here we go. I've got some information here that I can use for this workshop application. And of course if you look at the bottom of the application, the way it's set up, it requires a principal approval. So in this case, all the teacher has to do is open up workflows and they can add a reviewer. So I'm going to go ahead and add an email address here to get a permission and a message. And then all we have to do to get this workflow to work is to click request approval. Now once that's done, it's going to send an email out to the person that needs to mark it for approval. Now the interesting thing here is right now it's marked as unopened. So I'm going to go over to the email and I'll pull that into the screen so you can see what it looks like here. And if you look, uh, the email that we received says, would you kindly review? this workshop application and so all they have to do to review it is click review document it opens a copy for the reviewer to look at and it will also open up the workflows menu on the right hand side automatically once that's done the approver can go up to the add-ons menu click on workflows and click show workflow and if they haven't added it they will be able to so we'll go ahead and do that to this account now and of course once it's added they'll get a notification and the request for approval can be viewed by clicking on show workflow and as you can see here here's the message that we originally put in and I can leave a message that says approved and then click approve so that is done on the end of the reviewer and if we go back now, we can see that the original teacher that filled this out now has a message that says viewed and it just updated and says it's approved. So this is a great way to, you know, have a message go out between an employee and a supervisor or a teacher and a principal to get approval for submission on any number of things. Like for instance, I just applied for a workshop that I'm going to attend this summer and it needed approval from our superintendent and this would have been a perfect uh, example of how it could have been approved. But what if you need more than one person to approve and it has to be approved in a series of steps. For instance, you have to get approval from the principal first and then it goes to human resources after that. Well, in, in that case, you can use the add-on that is called Collivate. Now Collivate is a little bit different. It is actually a web-based service and it has extra bells and whistles that you can pay for but in terms of the free options that are available through the add-on in Docs and Sheets it allows you to add reviewers in different steps. For instance, in this case I've copied some of the same information over for this application and I'm going to send it to the principal in this case for review if, if that's who the principal were and anybody else that I needed to get approval from in step one of the approval process. If there is a step two of the approval process that comes after this person has approved it then I can add them down here at the bottom. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that now.
just add a couple of email addresses here. <clears throat> and if you want to allow that person to edit and comment, they can, or you can leave it as can only view and comment. And I'm going to do that as well. And then of course we can send a message that says please approve. And then once we're ready, I can hit submit for approval. And so in the same way that we received an email on the reviewer's email for the workflows add-on, we will get one from Colivate now. So let's take a look at what that looks like. And I'll pull that over. And as you can see here, the email from Colivate came through saying that a teacher requested a summer workshop and they need our approval. And what's different about this one is there's actually a web link that they can go to to view that, but the approval button is inside the email. So if they already know about the application and they don't necessarily need to view it, they don't have to actually open the document. They can just click on approve. And they can actually view the document either through Colivate or through Google Drive where it was originally penned. But in this case, if I just click approve, then it will automatically open up the Colivate website and it shows my step in the process has been approved and we're still waiting on somebody else to approve it. And of course, the original person that created the document will receive an update in their menu bar and by email saying that it has been approved. So if we refresh this screen, let's take a look and see what happened. And in this case, uh, the document is reloading, and if we take a look at Colivate and see where we are in this process, we can see that it's been approved at step one by the first reviewer. So this again is a great tool if you have multiple steps in the approval process that need to take place before you can submit a document for review or a document for an application. Well, hopefully this gives you a couple of ideas of how you can use these add-ons for workflows. And thanks for joining me, and don't forget to visit our website for other tutorial videos. Thanks again.